Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Photoshop error that the file format module cannot parse the file. So when the photo file extension is changed by mistake or erroneously, that's when an error message like this can occur. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Well, the first solution is obviously the most easiest would be just to change the image file format. So if you wanted to go ahead and modify or open up the Photoshop file, select Save As, and then select uh, Preferred File Format, like JPEG or PNG, for example. So that would be the option I'd recommend looking into first. Something else you can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Again, if you're still having an issue, you, like I said, you should have been able to resolve it just by addressing the file format of the uh, project file. But if you're still having an issue, you can also open up RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. That's match, should come back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select Yes. And now you want to go ahead and create a backup of the registry before you proceed. Just in case anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's done, we're ready to begin. We're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder, so double-click on that. Should be an Adobe folder, double-click on it. Photoshop, and there should be a version number in here. In my case, it's 120.0, but in your case, the number might be slightly different. And on the right side, you want to locate a D word value. This is Override Physical Memory MB. If you don't see one in here, you may have to create it. So right-click in the blanket area on the right side. Select New and then DWORD 32-bit value. You want to name this value Override Physical Memory MB. Exactly you've seen on my screen and hit Enter. Now, in your case, this value should already be there. But in my case, I just had to go ahead and create it. Double-click on it. And in the value data field, you want to select base as hexadecimal and then type in 4,000 in the value data field. So this will allow approximately four gigabytes worth of memory allocation. So go ahead and select OK. Before you do that, though, you might just want to take note of whatever values in there before you save it. Like I said, you still have a registry backup you created, so it's not really the end of the world either way. But pretty straightforward on that. And then you would need to restart your computer for the change to take effect if you went through the registry editor. So go ahead and restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.